Hi! So, if you're watching this, that would probably mean that you're a fan of Doki Doki Literature Club. And well, so am I. When I first heard of the game, there I was told there was a lot to it. And when I saw what two guys on Reddit had discovered about the character files from the game, the first thing I thought was, how did the guys from Team Salfado even put those secrets in there? I was amazed when I saw that you could get a QR code from an audio file by using a spectrograph. And today, I'm going to show you how you could make a similar concept. First, you need to go to this site and download this program, called Audio Paint. The software turns pixels into audio by looking at the brightness of the picture, I figured. I didn't really look into it, actually. Yeah, you can find the link in the description. Next, you will need to make your own QR code. You can do so online, or you can just find an empty one at Google Images. Now, you can open Audio Paint and put your QR code in there, then press Generate. You will hear some weird noise. You will probably want to check if your settings are alright, so... You can put your audio file into Audition and put a spectrograph to your view. You can also do what I did and download the spectrograph app on your phone. I used Spectrum View. If you play back the audio, it probably won't look right. That's because you haven't changed any of the settings yet. First off, you want the sound to last about 10 seconds. You also want to make the frequency way lower. Something around 2200. And don't forget to put the scale to linear, it won't work otherwise. You will have to play around with these settings yourself, but if you do it right, you will now have something like this. So, there you have it, an audible QR code. If there are any questions, well, you should be aware of the comment section by now. And if you would like me to go into the other secrets from Doki Doki, then leave this video a like. And now, I will end my video like a cool YouTuber. Uh, s s stay in school. Tschüss!